today we are going to go over everything that was released at the Apple Keynote, software, hardware, operating systems, whatever we're going to go through in this video. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Z Tutorials and first off I want to give my sincerest apologies to everyone who is listening to this crappy crappy rundown audio. I know that there's probably a buzzing noise in the background that it probably sounds useless, it's because I broke my microphone. I'm sorry about that, I'm using my uh, laptop in microphone now, so it's pretty crappy, but anyway, I'll buy a new microphone. Enough said about that, let's move on to the software that they released. So first off, Steve Jobs came up and he said, iLife, iMovie and GarageBand 11. So it's our iLife, that is available for a bit available today, sorry. And it comes pre-installed on all Mac computers that you buy from now on, which is very very good in fairness now that is pretty it's very very good piece of software so that is pretty good of them to do that or you can upgrade today for forty nine dollars which is okay as well it's not too bad then they had a fella up doing iMovie 11 I, for I forget who they had up but he just basically showed them the new audio editing and the enhanced features that iMovie does and how you can make cool trailers it looks pretty cool actually I might try that out and then they've GarageBand 11 which basically just helps you learn your instruments and gives you analysis as you play so if you play something wrong it'll show you the parts where you have wrong so that's pretty cool there in-depth analysis then Steve Jobs went up on stage and he said oh well FaceTime is coming out for Mac today yay we all knew this was going to happen it was inevitable obviously they're going to want to bring FaceTime to Mac there's no need to go over that everyone knows what FaceTime is and there's plenty of demos out there I'm not going to go through that myself then they went on to the good stuff which was the operating system Lion 10.7 uh, Mac OS 10 is what they're calling it, 10 Lion um, he said that it's going to be released in summer 2011 so that's a bit of a setback there, it's a bit late for me I was hoping it would be a bit earlier but it's not so we just have to get on with it they showed some cool new features like mission control which basically shows you how, to, how you can uh, put all your windows together and just organize everything really really cool and they also announced that apps will be coming for the operating system and with apps come the Mac App Store I just noticed they are missing a P on that app god damn it alright we'll move on so Steve Jobs then go ahead, went ahead and said oh by the way there is one more thing now what could this one more thing be the MacBook Air obviously I said this in my prediction video the MacBook Air where we knew this was coming there was no cheer or nothing like that I was watching it live, I hope you guys were too, it was pretty good. So, they said that there's going to be two brothers here, there's going to be a little brother with an 11.6 inch screen, and there's going to be a big brother with a 13.3 inch screen. Um, it is notable that both screens have very high resolution indeed, and the 13.3 is actually more resolution than the MacBook Pro series, so that's very, very cool indeed. Down there at the bottom is just some features that they showed with it, so it's got a Core 2 Duo processor, it's got NVIDIA GeForce 320M graphics, so that should have no problem handling all those HD videos and all that kind of stuff. The good thing is, well good in my opinion, is that it has no hard drive or no optical drive. Now I know you're losing hard drive space by putting in flash memory, but you are gaining a lot of speed. And speed is very important when it doesn't have the new i-series processors. It does still only have the core to do a processor. So by using the flash memory, they're compensating for this core to do a processor that's the way I look at it anyway because flash memory is about two times faster than normal hard drive um, it's basically way lighter so that's how they're getting so light they're just putting it slapping it right on the motherboard just leaving it there and it's very very cool it gives cool features like instant on so what's the pricing well the flash memory starts at 64 gig and that is for the 11.6 inch so if you have an 11.6 inch uh, MacBook Air it's going to cost you $999 for 64 gigs if you want the 13.3 it starts at 128 gig and that is $1299 but that's all I got for you guys today I hope you enjoyed it again I'm very sorry about the crappy audio if you were new to this I'm sorry for putting you through this torture I know it's terrible but I'll get a new mic don't worry about it if you want to go ahead and subscribe I would appreciate it especially if you are a new viewer um, I will be getting loads and loads more content to come in so go ahead and do that there by the way I'm getting a lot of followers on Twitter so you can follow me on Twitter there that's at ztutorials go ahead and check out my last video if you're bored and if you want nothing else to do check my out my prediction video and you can leave a comment there also I do want, I do want to bring up my comments on every video um, not enough people are interacting in my opinion I like people leaving comments and what most people don't know is that I respond to most comments so if you leave a comment I will make sure to respond to you on your channel page so it won't come up on the video but it will come up on your channel page and we can interact that way so that's pretty cool 
you can check out my next video too if it's that if that's there if you're watching this at a later date i doubt most people won't be but whatever let's move on now that is the tutorials signing out thanks for watching guys